You want to see case studies in y'all? Here's some more. This time, it's a procure-to-pay business process at a construction site. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this is part of a series of your tutorials. Today, I'll show you another case study. It's about a construction site and the rental of equipment there. It's called Procure-to-Pay and comes from Marlon's great book called Fundamentals of Business Process Management. We have implemented this case study in YAWL for an article to compare different modeling paradigms. You can find the links to this article and supplementary material in the description below. This case study is of medium complexity and features complex tasks, timer tasks and cancellation regions. Let's have a look. Okay, um, let's first look at our workflow here. So the specification is open and you can see that we have used manual coloring of the tasks because uh, this was done before automatic coloring has been introduced. So, um, for example, if we look at the first task here, we can see that this has a fill color set. And um, if I turn on the automatic coloring by roles, you will notice that the colors change here. So I can turn this on and off. And um, another thing that you can see here is that uh, if we show the constraints, we have a lot of retain familiar in this workflow. So um, we also have users, several users per role. So you can see the effects of the constraints. And um, another thing you can see here is that, for example, confirm availability is wide. So it's not colored in any way and there is no role here in the list. And if we look at this, um, we can see that it actually has net parameters for the role. So the idea here was to select one of two suppliers depending on the product. And so this is done with the net parameter here. Another thing is, um, of course, uh, are the cancellation regions. So um, once you have done fill-in equipment rental request, you can still cancel the request at any point in time until prepare purchase order has been completed. So if we look at this task here and we show the cancellation region, you can see that. And if, you if we look at prepare purchase order, we can see that it cancels the cancel request task. So cancellation regions, we have timer tasks. Um, if we go down to the composite tasks here, um, use equipment for example, we have a timer task for asking for an extension. So this is also an example of using the Y timer type in YAWL. And um, finally, um, we have the payment which is again a complex task. So this is the process and let's now go through this process following the so-called sunshine path. And um, we will use a user here that has all the roles. So um, we just you know keep on with the same user all the time and this is easy to do. So let's start here. So I have already started a case and um, this is fill in equipment rental request. We accept and start it. And if we go on view edit, um, we can fill in the requester. We can fill in a start date and an end date. So I will fill in the second, 22nd. And we want to rent a bulldozer here. And uh, then we can set the expiry here on December 2022, for example and then we complete this task. And the next one is select equipment. So um, you can see we have cancel request, which is there as well. And we have select equipment. So um, I will do select equipment. And now um, we can look for our uh, bulldozer here in the list. So it's 35, 45, and we can select that here. And then we can also see that it is, it is supplier 2, complete that. And now the supplier confirms the um, availability. So go 
go here, accept and start, confirm availability, and we say this is available, and we complete it, and the next thing is add details to the request. So this is here in allocated, and um, we start this and we put in some more details and complete. And next thing is approve a rental request. So this is the works engineer doing that and everything is okay. So here you can see we can cancel the whole request or we can say select new equipment or just approve. So we will approve here. And now um, we prepare the purchase order. And you will see as soon as the purchase order is completed, our cancel request task isn't there anymore. And we have received purchase order, which is next. I complete that inspect equipment. So this is when the equipment arrives. I approve it's the right equipment and then we go to use equipment we ask for an extension and in this case um, I will not ask for an extension so I will not check extension needed and uh, I will not send a new end date here so I complete this and then the next is pick up equipment this is done by the supplier when the time has come just a reminder to pick up this equipment and now we get out of this and we go to the next sub workflow which is payment send the invoice put in a price confirm rental so we confirm the final renting period look at the price again check the rental prices then we inform the supplier and we pay the invoice and that's it do you have any case studies in y'all let me know in the comments